Alright, so today what we're going to do is we're going to install the Caseda wireless dimmer. So this dimmer, the way it works, it works with a hub. It does not require a neutral. This is Lutron Kit PBG PK G1W and this comes with a Caseda wireless and the hub. As you can see, this is Lexa compatible and it's controlled with the voice. It also comes with a Pico remote which you can attach to any wall and you can make that switch into a three-way switch. As you can see here, the Pico switch and the wireless switch itself have lots of features right from the switch. Typically when you go and install this what you're gonna find is you're gonna find two black wires at the switch source. So you have the hot coming in and then there's another black that goes to the load. In this case it goes to the light. My setup is a little bit different. I have what's called a single pole switch loop. As you can see the hot first comes into the light and then it's uh, tied into the neutral which brings the power to the switch then goes back on the black. This is called a single pole switch loop and this is the reason why a lot of smart dimmers don't work because they require a neutral and this setup doesn't have a dedicated neutral. This is typical of homes from the 80s, the 90s. Uh, this is a setup they typically use and this is why most people don't have a neutral wire and can't install a smart switch that requires a neutral. You will need a pair of pliers for this, a wire stripper, a Phillips and standard screwdriver and an optional voltage tester. We're going to replace this switch here on the left which is a TP-Link switch that I did manage to get it working without a neutral but it's not up to code so we're going to replace it with this Lutron uh, Caseda that does not require the neutral and it's really the right setup, the right switch for this application. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install this. We're also going to go ahead and install the Pico. We're going to program the Pico and go over how to install the hub and download the software and get it integrated with Alexa and we'll go through all those steps. Check out the description. I'm going to leave links to everything I use including the kit, the tester and everything. But very important before you start make sure you turn off the breaker and you shut off the power. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this switch here on the left which is a TP-Link and then the one on the right as well because that's not working. The middle has a blank plate. We don't have to worry about that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just go ahead and remove all the screws and remove this wall plate and then go ahead and remove my switches. I'm going to go ahead and remove this TP-Link here on the left. Now I did get this TP-Link working um, kind of using another neutral that was unused from the middle which you shouldn't do and it's not up to code and it's really the reason why I'm taking this TP-Link out and I'm going to replace it with the Caseda wireless switch. One of the options if it's viable for you is to remove that Romex and install a Romex wire that has an added wire that you can use for the neutral. Just double check to make sure that there's no power. I know I turned off the breaker and you can see there's no power. The probe didn't beep, didn't light up. So we're going to go ahead and start removing this and as you can see here you can clearly see that I have a neutral which is the white, the black wire, the hot and then the ground which is the bare copper. And like I said this is not a traditional setup, this is a switch loop setup which means that the power actually goes to light first it then connects to the neutral wire carrying the power to the switch and then it loops back on the black wire. Typically this is the reason why a lot of people can't install the newer smart switches that require a dedicated neutral uh, because you just don't have one here as you can see on a switch loop. If you look to the left diagram you can see what a typical circuit is. Uh, as you can see the hot comes in through the switch and then it leaves uh, on the black wire to the load. So you have two black wires there and then you have the dedicated neutral connected to each other that you would use for a smart switch. In our case what we're going to do with the two blacks coming off the Caseta switch is one goes to the white and then the other one goes to the black and then ground goes to ground. The actual installation is pretty much the same it's just that you don't have two blacks you have one black and one white and again one of the black wires from the switch goes to the black the other black wire from the switch goes to the white green uh, which is ground goes to uh, the bare copper wire. So you can see here I'm taking one of the blacks and one of the whites from the wall and connected it together with a wire nut make sure it's nice and tight and then I'm going to go ahead and take these two blacks I'm going to put the wire nut on there as well make sure it's tight and then what you have left over from the switch is that green wire which connects to the bare wire coming from the wall and I'll go ahead and put a wire nut on that as well make sure it's tight and that's basically all it is uh, the white to black the black to black the green to copper 
and you have the whole thing pretty much uh, installed and ready to go. Now, if this was a typical setup, you would have two blacks, so black to black, and then green to copper. Once that's done, go ahead and make sure everything is tight, nothing loose, push the wires back into the box, so you have enough room for the switch, and we're gonna go ahead and just put the screws on the switch. So, what happens here is people, uh, when they replace the switch that they have with a smart switch, for example, the TP-Link, which requires a neutral, they take the switch out and find out that there's no neutral. In this case, with the Caseda, you don't have to have a neutral. It works with the hub, and you don't have to have a dedicated neutral. This switch circuit setup is no longer up to code. Uh, on here as well, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this, but I'm gonna replace this switch that's not working, and the installation is the same way. It's basically a switch loop, which I have another white and another black, and it's gonna be configured um, and installed the same way. Black to black, black to white, uh, and then green uh, to the bare copper. So we have this installed. It's very simple to do, very easy. I just turned the power and you can see the light on the Caseta went on and that shows us that uh, we have it working. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws back here on the plate. We're gonna tighten everything and then we're gonna set up the uh, hub itself, which is needed. So the Caseta hub installation is super simple. It comes with one ethernet, which you plug into the hub and from the hub, it goes to your wireless router and then you plug in the power to your wall outlet and that's all it is for the hub installation. Once you have everything connected, your next step is either to go to the Play Store or to the Apple Store and download the Lutron Caseta application. And as you can see here, I'm at the Google Store and I just search for Lutron Caseta and the app comes up. So you're gonna go ahead and download the app, install the app, and then you're gonna follow the instructions in order to associate the Caseta hub uh, with the app. And you do that by pressing the button on the back of the hub. It finds the hub, you can go ahead and give it a name. And after you give it a name and you have the hub associated with the application, you can go ahead and start adding the Caseta wireless switches or the Pico remotes. Uh, there's quite a few things that you can add on uh, this uh, Caseta hub. And it's really simple to do. It finds everything for you. You just got to really follow the instructions. And here what we're going to do first is we're going to add a Pico remote. And uh, But you can see here um, the many things that you can associate with that uh, Caseta hub. And that Caseta hub can control all these things here. You can integrate it with Nest. Uh, you can do blinds. You can do lights, of course. There's many different things that you can control with the uh, Lutron Caseta hub. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a Pico remote. And in order for the application to find it, the hub to find it, you just press the off button and you hold it. And then what happens is the hub finds that device. And then on the application, you can go ahead and give it a name. I named it Living Room Pico. Um, you can give it any name you want. You just really got to follow the directions in order to associate uh, either your Caseta switches, your Pico uh, remotes with the hub. And then the hub associates everything with the app. And then you can control things through the app. But really what you got to do is just follow directions. I'm going to go ahead and add here another Caseta wireless switch so we can go over the process but it's very simple. So the first thing you want to do is hold in the off button on the Caseta wireless switch and hold it in until the app, until the hub and the app find it. So you hold it in and then what's going to happen is it's going to find that switch. You can go ahead and name it. I named it living room lights. Now, obviously in order to integrate this with Alexa, you do need uh, the Lutron skill, which again, you go to the Alexa app, you download the Lutron skill and that's it. And once it's installed here, the living room lights, as you can see at the top here, Alexa found the living room lights and has installed it for you. So you need to have the uh, Alexa Lutron skill. And once that's in there and you give a permission uh, for Alexa to use that Lutron skill, everything you do on the hub, everything you do on the Lutron software uh, is automatically uh, transferred to uh, Alexa. So super simple to do. The cool thing with the Caseta wireless switches is it gives you all these options. You can control it from here from the app, from the Lutron app. You can control it from the Pico remote. You can control it from the switch itself. And of course, from Alexa. So as we go here to Alexa, you can see that it knows that the lights are on and you can control it with your voice. Alexa, turn off living room lights. Alexa, turn on living room lights. 
And really, the Caseta is a great switch and it's a way to install a smart switch if you don't have that dedicated neutral wire, which a lot of houses from the 80s, the 90s don't have it. A switch loop is no longer up to code, so uh, going forward, a lot of houses don't have that. You can't install it because it's not up to code anymore. Uh, but like I said, a lot of houses still have this setup and when people go and install their new smart switch, they find out that they can't get it working because they don't have a neutral wire. And in this case, really, you need something that has a hub that does not require a neutral wire. And the uh, Lutron Caseta is one of those options. There's others out there. But I really like the Caseta. It works really well. It's responsive. And uh, it's easy to install, easy to use. So thank you for watching. I hope that you found this uh, useful. And if you did, leave a comment, leave a like. Check out my channel. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.